Hi, I'm here. It's December 10th, 2013 in Singapore at the TPP negotiation with Doug Palmer, who writes for Political Now. Uh, could you tell me a little bit about yourself, like how long have you been a journalist and, and what kind of places have you worked? Um, well, I've been a journalist since 1989 and uh, I guess most of my career has been at Reuters. I worked there for 17 years. Uh, before that, I worked at another wire service called Night Rear Financial News. And for the past three months, I worked at Politico, uh, Politico Pro Trade. Uh, most of the time as a reporter, I've been in Washington. Uh, but uh, as a trade reporter, I've got to travel to different uh, cities around the world for various trade negotiations. When you cover a negotiation like this, um, because it's, uh, you know, there's, there's a certain amount, certain issues about secrecy. I mean, what, how, do you, how do you do your job? I mean, how do you interact with the negotiators? Um, well, you know, there's not a lot of access uh, to, to negotiators. Um, they, you know, they, they don't want to, you know, basically uh, show their hand, um, you know, before before they have to. I guess they feel like uh, it's, uh, you know, maximizes their their advantage to to um, you know keep the keep the details conf confidential. So, you know, most of the interaction uh, comes through uh, through press availabilities, and you know, where you get a chance to pose questions to them and they answer. Um, if you're lucky, sometimes you know you can pull a delegate aside. And, and they'll give you some information, you know, on background. But um, I have to say, you know, with, within this negotiation, um, there hasn't been a lot of information sharing like that. At least I haven't um, had access to a lot of information like that. You talk to uh, all the countries, or just the Americans? Um, I, well, you know, I primarily talk to to the Americans because I know them the best. Um, you know, when I arrived here, I reached out to all the different delegations to tell them I was in town and, you know, please put me on your email distribution list. I'd be very interested in meeting with the press person here, interviewing somebody. And, um, I, you know, I got a response from the Japanese delegation. They put me on their press release list. Um, but basically the, the, the person informed me that he, he, he would be too busy to meet with me. Um, the Australians uh, got back and said your request is noted and if we have something to say we'll be in touch. And I, I, I really think that's all I heard from. <laughs> I, you know, everybody's very busy um, while they're here and you know nobody wants I mean, the basic dilemma is is that nobody wants to uh, be responsible for saying something or releasing some piece of information that is going to somehow spoil the negotiating dynamic so um, the tendency is for them to be very tight lipped in terms of the trade negotiations that you covered, I mean, how, how uh, would you how would you sort of rank the TPP in terms of its importance? Um, well, I think it's a pretty important one. I mean, it's going to be um, you know the biggest free trade agreement the United States has negotiated to date. I mean, there's the other one with the European Union that's that's lurking in the wings, and I think economically that might might be might be bigger than this. But assuming this is negotiated, it'll at least be the biggest one. So so far and you know Japan is an important economy and the US has been frustrated with Japan for a long time so if, you know if the US can get economic reforms in that area I think it'll be really happy um, there's a wide swath of issues that are under consideration ranging from intellectual property which I know Jamie cares very much about to um, you know agricultural products and, and uh, textiles um, so yeah, I think it's a I think it's a pretty important one. Yeah. Here's my last question. Yeah. Uh, you, you're you're here with uh, several other journalists. Yeah. Uh, do you all help each other, or do you sort of hide information from each other? I mean, how does it work? You're sort of competitors as well. Well, we're competitors, but it's a friendly competition. Um, I mean, you know, if you have a scoop. Uh, you keep that to yourself, and and you know you don't give it to your you don't give it to your your colleagues. But I mean, uh, I mean I think you, you you recognize the times when you can be helpful, and um, 
you know, it doesn't put you at any disadvantage to be helpful. So, so, why, so why not be helpful in those circumstances? Because you know at some point um, you're going to need their help. And, you know, you might be put at a disadvantage if you don't, if, you know, if you don't get their help. So, you know, there's, there's a degree of co cooperation, but, but, you know, we're all working for our, for our own employers and we all, you know, want to be first with the story or, or have some uh, distinctive angle on the story that, that sets ours apart. So, you know, there are, there are limits to how much you cooperate. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome.